Gold is lower this Monday, thanks mostly to a higher U.S. dollar index. The metal fell as much as 2%, but it still remains around the $1,200 mark. But has the precious metals rally come to an end? Joining us today is U.S. Global's investor CEO, Frank Holmes. Frank, thanks for being back with us. It's great to be back. And as I mentioned last time I was on the program, we've had a spectacular run and it's healthy for it to have a correction. Uh, we use a lot of quantitative math and look at rates of change over 12 months and rates of change over three months. And gold is up two standard deviations when you look at three month rolling data going back five years. So math is in favor of a correction short term. So Frank, what do you think is behind this correction though? Uh, we see the higher US dollar index, is that really all that's at play here for gold? Well, historically, we get a, a pop in gold for the Chinese New Year, and we got a spectacular one. If we just go back three months ago, gold was down one standard deviation and ran up two standard deviations looking at three-month rolling data. That's a 21% move in bullion uh, over a short period of time. So the, the markets will correct. All right, Frank, let me ask you, let's talk about gold standard deviation over the last 60 days. What are you seeing here? We saw Goldman Sachs last week call for $1,000 gold this year. Uh, should investors be worried about the pressure gold is seeing here? No, I don't think that, but I think that Goldman Sachs is brilliant. I really do because they always come out when gold's up two standard deviations and say sell, but when it's down one standard deviation or down two, they never say buy. So it's a very biased political uh, position they have, but they're smart when they come out and say, time to sell gold. All right, switching gears uh, now, let's talk about demand for gold in Britain, which appears strong as the country faces a weaker currency and uncertainty over a Brexit continues to grow. Can this help gold? Yes, it can help gold. Any currency uncertainty is no doubt having a positive impact in that country's currency. And we're witnessing strong gold buying. And last year, every time gold fell over 60 trading days, one standard deviation, guess what? Gold buyers buying gold coins and silver coins went to record levels. So I, I think it's important to recognize Brexit is very bullish for gold, in particular for Europeans that are hedging their position. And the same thing is taking place in America and other countries around the world. All right, Frank, let's wrap with your touchdown pass this week. What's it going to be? Thursday, we're going to be looking for sentiment indicators on, on employment. That's going to be a key factor. But what's really important is the CPI has come out and we have inflation running over 2% X oil. And this is a real positive part long term for gold. Thank you, Frank. And join us in Florida next week with Frank Holmes as we cover BMO's exclusive mining conference. Thanks so much for watching.